a very good morning students in this video i'm going to explain abc costing problem number 3 for 14 marks and this is the last problem in abc costing let's go through the problem abc company limited produces three products one is a one is b and c for which the standard cost and output are as follows. So first they have given output in terms of units. Product A, total number of units manufactured, 10,000 units. And for product B, 20,000 units. And for product C, 30,000 units. And the next one, direct material cost per unit means for producing one unit the material cost will be 50 rupees for product a and 40 rupees for product b and 32 rupees for product c and this is in terms of rupees and the next one direct labor per unit in terms of rupees which means to produce product a the company incurred 30 rupees as a labor cost and 40 rupees for B and 48 rupees for C. So these two informations are direct material cost and direct labor cost incurred to produce product A, product B and product C. And the next information labor hour per unit which means to produce product A 3 hours required and for produce product B 4 hours are required and for C 5 hours are required and the next one machine hour per unit which means to produce product a the total number of machine hour is required four hour for one unit for b also four hour for one unit but for but for product c uh, seven hour is required to produce a one product of c and next one number of purchase requisitions are given and the total number of machine setups are given Next, production overhead split by departments. So here, department X incurred 12 lakh rupees and department Y incurred 15 lakh rupees to produce product A, product B and product C. This is the total production cost incurred. So total production cost is 27 lakh. So this 27 lakh is absorbed through departments department x 12 lakh department y 15 lakh total 27 lakh so this is not activity based costing here the total cost is not absorbed by activities here the total cost is absorbed by department wise so this is the traditional method of costing so this is a traditional method of costing this information is relating to traditional method of costing and further department x is labor intensive which means Department X manufactures products by using labor force and department Y is machine intensive which means department Y manufacturing products by using machine force. So here total number total labor hours in department X is uh, 2 lakh hours 2 lakh labor hours and for total machine hours in department Y is 5 lakh labor hours. So this information is relating to traditional method of costing because here the total cost, uh, total production cost 27 lakh is absorbed by departments, not by activities. That why this information is relating to traditional method of costing. The next one, production overage split by activity. So this information is relating to activity based costing here uh, the company has noticed two activities one is receiving an inspection activity another one is production scheduling or setup activity so receiving an inspection activity is rupees 14 lakh and production scheduling or setup activity is rupees 13 lakh total 27 lakh here the total production cost is 27 lakh and this 27 lakh is absorbed by activities that is 14 lakh plus 13 lakh total 27 lakh but in the previous uh, information 
here the 27 lakh rupees absorbed through absorbed by department wise but here the 27 lakh is absorbed by activity wise okay that's why this information is relating to activity based costing and this information is relating to traditional method of costing now here we have to prepare cost statement under traditional absorption costing and also activity based costing here we have to prepare cost sheet under both the methods and also compute the results of two methods and give your comments here we have to compare the traditional method of costing with abc method of costing after that we have to give our comments let's move let's uh, move to the solution move to the solution the first one traditional traditional method of costing traditional method of costing traditional method of costing so here So in traditional method of costing, the total production cost is 27 lakh and this 27 lakh is absorbed by department wise. Once department X 12 lakh and department Y 15 lakh. So first department X. First one department X. Department X. So the total cost incurred in department X is 12 lakh rupees. So rupees 12 lakh here rupees 12 lakh and this 12 lakh rupees is based on here 12 lakh rupees incurred in department X but uh, department X is labor intensive which means in department X the products are produced by using labor force here the total number of labor hours in department X is 2 lakh total number total labor hours in department X is 2 lakh so in department X is based on labor hours so total number of labor hours in department X is 2 lakh so divided by 2 lakh labor hours 2 lakh labor hours so now Per labor cost per labor hour will be rupees six per labor hour per labor hour. So department X is over. Now move to department Y. So department Y. So in department Y, the total cost incurred is rupees fifteen lakh. And department Y is machine intensive, which means department Y manufactures products by using machine force. So total number of machine hours in department Y is 5 lakh. So cost is 15 lakh and machine hour is 5 lakh. So 15 lakh divided by 5 lakh machine hours. So here total cost in department Y is rupees 15 lakh and this is based on machine hours that is 5 lakh machine hours so you will get rupees 3 per machine hours so here we have calculated overhead rates Next, move on to the cost sheet under traditional method. So here, uh, make four columns. First column for particulars, next for product A, next product B, and next product C. So first, enter direct material cost and direct labor cost. So a direct material cost per unit is 50 rupee, 40 rupee, 32 rupee, and direct labor cost per unit is 30, 40, and 48. First enter direct material and direct labor. So direct material 
per unit per unit next direct labor direct labor per unit so direct material per unit for product a is 50 rupees 40 rupees and 32 rupees direct labor per unit is for product a 30 rupees product b 50 rupees and product c 48 rupees now direct material and direct labor is over now here there are two departments and a traditional uh, method of costing the production cost is absorbed by department wise so here the two departments were given was department x and department y so first production overhead cost production cost production cost department department x department x so in department x uh, is labor intensive department x is labor intensive it is based on labor hours so here the total labor hours is labor hour per unit for department a 3 hour department b 4 hour and department c 5 hour so 3 4 and 5 so under department x for a 3 hour and for b 4 hour and for c 5 hour so what's the cost per labor hour the cost per labor hour is rupees 6 in department x so multiplied by 6 rupee multiplied by 6 rupee multiplied by 6 rupees so here department a will be 3 multiplied by 6 18 and for department b 4 multiplied by 6 24 and department c 5 multiplied by 6 so department x is over department x is over now department y so department y so department y is based on machine hours because department y is machine intensive so department y is based on machine hours so here machine hours per unit is 4 4 hour for product a 4 hour for product B and 7 hour for product C. So 4, 4 and 7. So here for department A, 4 hour for department B, 4 hour for department C, 7 hour. What's the cost per machine hour? The so cost per machine hour is rupees 3 per machine hour in department Y. So department Y rupees 3 so rupees 3 rupees 3 now here record 4 multiplied by 3 well and here 4 multiplied by 3 well and here 7 multiplied by 3 21 now total cost per unit will be total cost per unit will be 50 plus 30 plus 18 plus well 110 and then 40 plus 40 plus 24 plus 12 116 and 32 plus 48 plus 30 plus 21 131 this is the total cost per unit for producing one unit the total cost for product A 110 for product B 160 and for product C 131. So this is the uh, cost sheet under traditional method. This is the cost sheet under traditional method. So thank you students. In next video I will explain cost sheet under 
ABC method. Same problem. I will continue in next class. So this is cost sheet under traditional method. In next class, I, I am going to teach cost sheet under activity based costing. Thank you students.